हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर सोशल साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सेवन चैप्टर नंबर टेन अर्थ्स इंटरनल कंपोजिशन एंड लैंड फॉर्म्स बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोज सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द एम फर्स्ट वन ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लान इज अ डेवलप्ड लाइफ फाउंड इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी अर्थ सेकेंड What is the uppermost layer of the earth surface called as its option number B crust third what is lying just beneath sima it is option number D mantle fourth what is the core known as its option number D knife fifth which type of rock is basalt its option number D extrusive igneous rock sixth which type of rock is granite its option number D intrusive igneous rock Seventh, which type of rock is sandstone? It's option number A, sedimentary or stratified rock. Eighth, which rock is used to grind grains? It's option number B, granite. Ninth, when the velocity or the speed of the wind decreases in desert, the soil particles are deposited on the land as hill-like structure. What is it called? It is option number A, barchants. Tenth, what is the level plane? formed by the deposition of minute soil particles over a large area in the desert called as its option will be loess now we'll continue with question number 2 that is fill in the blanks first one the innermost layer of the earth is known as core second crust is the thinnest layer of the earth third the layer below siai that is ci is called sima Fourth, the innermost layer of the mantle is core. Fifth, the radius of the core is about three thousand five hundred kilometer. Sixth, the core is also known as knife. Seventh, basalt is an example of extrusive igneous rock. Eighth, granite is an example of intrusive igneous rock. Ninth, granite stone is used to grind the grains. Tenth. the process of transformation of rock from one type to another is called as rock cycle 11th there are different minerals within the rocks 12th the slow movement of plate causes changes on surfaces of the earth 13 large turns bends of a river in the plain region are called meanders 14th the erosion and deposition by the sea waves form coastal landforms 15 the place where the tremors or the vibrations start below the crust is called epicenter 16 the wall like landform formed due to marine erosion that is erosion by sea waves is called as stack 17 the u shaped valley is formed by glacier erosion 18 when the velocity of wind decreases and the soil particles are deposited on the land it is called barchants now we'll continue with question number 3 that is true or false first one the surface of the continent is made up uh, uh, mostly of minerals like silica and alumina that is true second the surface of the continents is called ci it is true third the layer below ci is called knife it is false fourth the core of the earth is made up of mostly nickel and magnesium it is false fifth the core area of the earth is called knife it is true sixth basalt is an intrusive igneous rock it is false seventh granite is an extrusive igneous rock it is false eighth coal and mineral oil are two minerals useful as fuel it is true ninth an earthquake can be predicted it is false Tenth, the deposition of the sediments by the sea on the shore forms sand beaches. It is true. Eleventh, wind is the main agent of erosion and deposition in the deserts. It is true. Twelfth, the barchants of the shape of an umbrella are found in the desert region. It is false. Thirteenth, loess plains are found in India. It is false. Now we'll continue with question number four. That is, match the following. First section, first one. The uppermost layer of the earth. It's option number five, CI. Second, metamorphic rock. It's option number three, marble. 
थर्ड वर्क ऑफ अ रिवर इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर फोर फ्लड प्लेन्स फोर्थ वर्क ऑफ द विंड इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर टू बर्चेंस दैट इज सैंड्यून्स फिफ्थ इरोजनल वर्क ऑफ द ग्लेशियर इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर वन मोरेन्स नाउ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ मैच द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट वन एक्सक्लूसिव इग्नियस रॉक इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर फोर बैसल्ट सेकेंड इंक्लूसिव इग्नियस रॉक इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर वन ग्रेनाइट थर्ड वर्क ऑफ अ रिवर इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर फाइव डेल्टा एंड फोर्थ वर्क ऑफ द इवेंट इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर टू बर्चिंस नाउ विल कंटिन्यू विद क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दैट इज आंसर इन वन और टू सेंटेंसेस फर्स्ट वन ऑन विच प्लान ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम इज अ डेवलप्ड लाइफ फाउंड अर्थ इज द ओनली प्लान ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम ऑन विच अ डेवलप्ड लाइफ इज फाउंड सेकेंड हाउ आर द लेयर्स ऑफ द अर्थ अरेंज द इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ इज मेड अप ऑफ सेवरल लेयर्स अरेंज वन ऑन टॉप ऑफ द अदर लाइक एन ऑनियन थर्ड वॉट इज कॉल्ड अ क्रस्ट हाउ इज इट द अपर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ द अर्थ इज कॉल्ड क्रस्ट इट इज द थिनेस्ट ऑफ ऑल द लेयर्स थर्ड सी आई इज मेनली कंपोज ऑफ वेच मिनरल्स सो सी आई इज मेनली कंपोज ऑफ सिलिका एंड एल्यूमिना फिफ्थ विच इज द कोर ऑफ द अर्थ कॉल्ड नाइफ द कोर ऑफ द अर्थ इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनली निकल एंड फेरस सो इट इज कॉल्ड नाइफ सिक्स हाउ मेनी आर द मेन टाइप्स ऑफ रॉक विच आर दे देर आर थ्री मेन थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ रॉक्स दे आर फर्स्ट इग्नियस रॉक्स सेकेंड सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स एंड थर्ड मेटामोरफिक रॉक्स सेवेंथ वॉट इज मेंट बाय अ रॉक साइकिल वन टाइप ऑफ रॉक चेंजेस टू अनदर टाइप अंडर सर्टन कंडीशन इन अ साइक्लिक मैनर दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ रॉक्स इज कॉल्ड रॉक साइकिल एट्थ विच मिनरल्स आर यूज एज फ्यूल कोल नेचुरल गैस मिनरल ऑयल पेट्रोलियम आयरन एल्यूमिनियम गोल्ड यूरेनियम एक्सेट्रा आर यूज एज फ्यूल नाइन्थ वन विच टू नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स अकर ड्यू टू द सडन मूवमेंट्स इन द अर्थ क्रस्ट अर्थ क्वेक एंड वर्कैनो अकर ड्यू टू द सडन मूवमेंट्स इन द अर्थ क्रस्ट टेंथ वॉट इज एन अर्थ क्वेक when the lithospheric plates move the surface of the earth vibrates the vibration can travel all around its center these vibrations are called earthquake 11th what is called a focus of an earthquake the place in the crust from where the vibration starts is called the focus of an earthquake 12th how do the local people predict the possibilities of an earthquake Local people use some common methods to predict the possibility of earthquake like study of behavior of animals rapid movements of fish in pond coming out of reptiles on the surface of the earth etc 13th which factors bring changes in the form of the landscape the factors which bring changes on the surface of the earth are wind rain river glacier sea waves etc 14th define erosion the dynamic agents like river glacier wind sea waves etc erode or break the landscape in their way this process is called erosion 15th what is called an oxbow lake the water remains in the abandoned cylindrical part of the river is called an oxbow lake Sixteenth, what is called a natural levee, when a large amount of silt soil deposits on both sides of the river, the raised banks are called natural levees. Seventeenth, what is called a stack, due to the erosion by sea waves, a wall-like feature is formed, which is called a stack. Eighteenth, what is called a sea arc, the steep rocky coast rising almost vertically above sea water is called a sea arc now we'll continue with question number 6 answer the following questions briefly first one what is called an igneous rock state its type hot magma cools and solidifies a rock formed in this way is called an igneous rock there are two types of igneous rocks first one inner rock that is intrusive igneous rock 
and second one that is outer rock uh, that can be called extrusive igneous rock second one what is meant by an intrusive igneous rock sometimes the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth's crust solid rocks are formed which are called intrusive igneous rocks since they cool down slowly they form large grains granite is an example of such a rock third one what is meant by endogenic that is internal force the movements which are generated in the interior of the earth are called as endogenic forces endogenic forces sometimes produce sudden movements and sometimes produce slow movement fourth one which rocks are known as the extrusive igneous rocks the reddish molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface is lava when this molten lava comes on the surface of the earth it rapidly cools down and becomes solid rocks formed in such a way on the crust are called extrusive igneous rocks they have a very fine grained structure for example basalt fifth one what is a waterfall the running water in the river erodes the landscape when the river straightly tumbles at steep angle over very hard rocks or down a valley it forms a waterfall now we'll continue with question number 7 answer the following questions first one explain metamorphic rocks with examples igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure for example clay changes into slate and limestone into marble when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rocks the metamorphic rocks which are still under extreme heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma second what is meant by a rock cycle explain one type of rock changes to another type under certain conditions in a cyclic manner this process of transformation of rocks is called rock cycle when the molten magma cools it solidifies to become igneous rock these igneous rocks are broken down into small particles those are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rocks the metamorphic rocks which are still under extreme heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma this molten magma cools down and solidify into igneous rocks now we'll continue with question number 8 write a short note first one is cl and sima the uppermost layer of the earth is called crust it is the thinnest of all the layers it is about 35 kilometers of the continental masses the main mineral constituents of the con uh, continental mass are silica and alumina it is thus called cl that is si for silica and al for alumina the oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium it is therefore called sima that is si for silica and ma for magnesium second formation of a volcanic mountain sometimes due to internal pressure there are great movements in the semi liquid matters of the magma in the interior of the earth the water which percolates in the interior is transformed into water vapor due to internal heat the vapor occupies more space than the water so it exerts tremendous pressure on all sides due to such reasons the land explodes where the rocks are soft vapor ash rock fragments mud and thereafter the hot magma lava are thrown out this magma lava cools down and spreads on all sides and forms a slopy cone shaped mountain this is called a volcanic mountain and here we come to the end of chapter number 10 that is earth's internal composition and landforms i hope you have understood the whole chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you